Right then, last vid for this lesson. So it says, so it says here, be careful not to confuse an incline plane with a force acting at an angle. Just got to be careful with this. So a particle of mass m is pushed up a smooth, or well, smooth is good, a smooth plane by a force of magnitude 5g. So I've got mg acting down there. And that would be at an angle 30. So if you look, we have an mg. That would be 30 degrees. So that would be mg cos 30 acting down and mg sine 30 acting that way. But I've also got this 5g. I've got to try and split that up. So that's going down and it's going up. So opposite the angle would be a 5g sine 60 and next to the angle would be a 5g cos 60 so you've got to be careful with this now so it says we're also missing the r aren't we that one. Uh, so show that the mass is there right let's have a look then so let's do f equals ma parallel to the slope now it's moving is it moving up well, it gives us an acceleration of 0 0.5. So the acceleration is 0 0.5. So it's going up. So forces in the direction of travel minus forces opposing it is equal to a mass times acceleration. So let's think about the forces pushing it up. So the forces pushing it up the slope is the 5g cos 60. The component of the 5g moving it, pushing it in the direction of the slope. So 5g cos 60. The forces opposing that motion is an mg sine 30. It tells you that it's uh, smooth, so there is no friction. So that's equal to a mass times an acceleration of 0.5. Now, I want to get the mass to be on its own. Right, then. So let's have a look at this. Then. So cos 60 is a half. So that's going to be 5g over 2. Uh, sine 30 is a half as well, minus mg over 2, is equal to a half of m. So them halves, they can all disappear. So you're happy cos 60 is a half, sine 30 is a half, and then you've got a half of m. So the halves all disappear. I've got 5g minus mg is equal to m. So you can kind of see where this is going now. If I put the m's on one side, I've got um, m plus mg. And I want m on its own. So if I take out m as a factor, that's 1 plus g. And then just divide through 1 plus g is m. There you go. And I've done it. That's not too bad, is it? But they are just setting up the equations. Forces parallel, forces perpendicular. We'll do some at the start, but it's all fine. It's all nice. Right, see you later. Bye-bye.